Hello Cancer, how you doing? I hope you're very well. Uh, my name is Diane and this is Man and Butterfly Tarot and we're going to do uh, what is going on with your person reading for November. But you know, it's a timeless reading, Cancer, so whenever you happen to find this is when you were meant to see it. You are so welcome here, you know, I just want to say thank you so much for checking out Z Reading, I appreciate it very much. And if you feel called to uh, like and subscribe for me, you know, hopefully you'll find the reading resonates and you'll enjoy it and all that good stuff, I would appreciate that very much. Ow! Um, okay, so... Um, what's going on with Cancer's person? You have the Two of Pentacles. What's going on with Cancer's person? What's going on with Cancer's person? You have the Wheel of Fortune. There's something fated happening with your person here. The Knight of Pentacles. This person seems to be stabilizing themselves. I don't um I don't know exactly what they're stabilizing, but they seem to with the Two of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Wheel of Fortune, there seems to be something fated happening here. Um I feel like they're getting their life in balance. You have the four of pentacles here. That's interesting. Um, I feel like this person that you're dealing with, you see how you have the Four of Pentacles here? It's like they've been kind of guarding their heart for some reason. But now they're ready to give it to you. This person's ready to give you their heart. You have the three, okay, this person had their heart broken. Um, I'm sorry if it sounds a little echoey in here. I don't know why it sounds echoey today. I can't help I can't help the echoes. I'm sorry. It's it's just like the floor is uh, not carpeted, so it just it sounds echoey. This person had their heart broken. You have the three of swords, the death card, and the four of swords. So obviously, you know, you have the three and the four of swords in succession. So that's like heartbreak and healing from heartbreak. They needed some time out. Because there was some kind of ending. I feel like this person may have been through a dark night of the soul because there's something that ended. But they're ready now. Um, I do feel they could be a fire sign that you're dealing with. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah, there was definitely an ending. You have the Ten of Swords and the Temperance and uh, the Knight of Wands. I feel like this person may have been dealing with some kind of player energy in their past or someone who was kind of chaotic, um, like possibly a player, but very in and out, flaky, chaos energy, like they didn't know what they wanted. Um, but your person, there was an ending, maybe the person left them, maybe your person, you know, left them, but I feel it was a, a painful ending, you know, with the temperance card. <clears throat> The temperance comes after something has ended and you're trying to balance yourself. But I feel like they're ready now. You have the three of wands here in the world. I feel like they've closed down a major, major cycle in their life and they're ready. Um, I'm not going to take them. Even though they were nice cards. Uh, what else is going on with Cancer's person? You have the three of uh, cups here. Looks like this person is ready to date again. They're strongly coming through here, something about this person balancing their energy. And they're ready to make you this offer now, like they're ready to give you their heart. There's some kind of communication that's going to be coming in. You know, either you'll contact them or they'll contact you. Um, clarify this Two of Pentacles. Seven of Cups, all right. This person... Um, they had a fear, 
that they've overcome about like this just ending because I feel that's what happened in the past. I feel maybe there was like a sudden ending or the person betrayed them or stabbed them in the back or something. They really, really had their heart broken. So the thing is with you, they kind of um, just felt like this was too good to be true. Seven of Cups energy, like I, I, second guessing it, overthinking it. This can't be real because you know of what happened last time. That's what they've they've had to balance out here. But I feel there's been some kind of divine intervention um, to get this person's head back on straight. Because they've overcome, there was like a fear of this just ending with you. Because I feel that that's what happened before. There's victory over uh, obstacles here. And I feel like the obstacle was them. I feel like they were just getting in their own way, you know. So they no longer see this as like too good to be true. Like they trust it now. I feel like they didn't trust it before. Not that they didn't trust you. You haven't done anything wrong. This is something from their past. This is some fucker from the past that's done this to them. Um, clarify this Wheel of Fortune. That's interesting. You have the Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. I've just flipped over. Clarify the... Um, there's something... about this person's past let me just I don't know if it's also their childhood here clarify the wheel of fortune clarify the wheel of fortune please I want to go into another deck I don't know what that was. Dracula. <laughs> I want to suck your blood. Okay, Th this person has been, ma like they're a massive overthinker. They've massively just o been overthinking this connection and stressing it out. That's ending. You know what though, the overthinking I don't know if it goes way back to their childhood, but it definitely goes back to this Knight of Wands energy. Um, clarify this Wheel of Fortune. Temperance. It's time. That's what I feel is happening here. It's time. You have the Wheel of Fortune and the Temperance, which both talk about timing, right? The Wheel of Fortune, divine timing. Uh, temperance, like patience, balance, moderation. You're, there's about to be some communication here. You have the Ace of Swords, the Page of Wands, and the Knight of Cups. So there's going to be like a breakthrough in communication. Expect to get a message. And uh, it's going to be like love. You know, they're going to, it's, it's going to be romantic, right? Um, clarify the Knight of Pentacles. We're carrying around this devil energy. Oh, you have the devil and the ten of uh, wands clarifying this knight of pentacles. So this has been really slow. I feel it's all subconscious with this person, right? I don't feel like they've deliberately blocked you out. I feel like, um, see when you get into this energy of things being too good to be true, it's like you focus all your energy on chasing it away if you if you see what I mean because some people who have been hurt in the past it's like they kind of cling on to the new person but because they're clinging it's kind of saying like you're running away and I need to hold on to you right and I feel they've let that go now so it's like made this space for the love to come in for you to come in um but yeah they were dealing with something toxic in the past so it made them like very guarded you know but they finally released this 
um, this past toxic energy and you have the four of pentacles in reverse underneath that so they have been you know that's the four of pentacles twice they were closed off but um like they weren't doing it on purpose clarify the four of pentacles yeah there's definitely a breakthrough here page of swords Things are going to start happening now, like you're going to notice some kind of breakthrough here in some way. Um, the Page of Swords is delayed. It's something that's it's like delayed news coming in, but you may find that things start to move quite fast now. You see how it's like he just suddenly drops his bag? You know, it's, it's that kind of... It may happen very suddenly now. And you have the, the hanged man in reverse. So, you know, the hanged man is things not moving, but it's in reverse. So things are about to start moving. I feel they finally freed themselves. This was some kind of karmic lesson. This past person they were dealing with, it was some kind of karmic lesson. I feel like they lied to the person. Um, some of you watching this may have some Aquarius in your chart. Um, but um, I feel like the past person they lied or they misrepresented themselves like and your person fell for it that's what I, I'm saying like oh I fell for it like I can't believe I fell for it like fuck you know I didn't they didn't see it I think the person was a very good liar or they were very charming or something or maybe your person was just so smitten you know, because like love sees what I want to see, you, you know, you see what you want to see, right? Like the sixth sense, they only see what they want to see. <laughs> but they're finally free of this karmic lesson now. It's like they've forgiven themselves or something, or they're finally seeing clearly now. Um, but I feel there's been some kind of divine intervention. You have the eight of swords. This is, they were stuck or they felt stuck. But it was because they got themselves into this bad mindset of like, and it was totally, I feel it was totally subconscious. I feel this person had no control over this, you know? So they've obviously been doing some shadow work. Yeah, they're, they're finally free. They're finally free. Um, clarify the, oh my God, this really keeps coming up. The seven of swords, this was a karmic lesson. It really messed with them. It really messed with your person's head. Because I, th I think, I just keep, they keep saying like, I didn't see it. I just, I didn't see it. Like, I can't believe I didn't see it. Like, I'm such an idiot. I didn't see, like this person, like they played me. They just played me and I just fucking, I didn't see it. I'm sorry I'm swearing, but that's what's coming through. And I feel they were just, you know, because I actually really like this deck. You, you see how she separated the, it's, this is a seven of swords, but she separated it. So you have the two of swords on the wall, right? Which is like the two of swords, ah, I didn't see this. And like, also I feel like your person was blocking out their heart a little bit because they were still, you see how she's carrying the five of swords, which is this, right? Bad mental headspace, getting yourself into this. It's not gonna work. You know, I can't trust anyone. I didn't see the last person so I can't you know I don't trust myself anymore it's not about not trusting you I feel like they didn't trust their own judgment anymore oh uh, clarify this. they may have been dealing with a Taurus in the past um clarify the three of cups please This is dating. You guys are going to be dating. I feel your person's feeling really happy. Like really, really happy. I feel that they feel very free to me. Uh, clarify the Three of Cups, please. See, it may have taken them a really long time <laughs> to get to this point. Three of Cups, Three of Pentacles. So.
they may be uh, a little guarded at the start okay they but it's not I, I just want to keep saying this it's not because they don't trust you it's just it's like a lingering um, you know consequence of what this past person did to them But this is going to be, now, the thing is, because they had to take time to do the shadow work, because I feel like Spirit made them, um, it's, it's going to be very, very stable. Very, very stable. This may be someone, excuse me, <clears throat> this may be someone that you met at work, or uh, through some kind of group project or something like this. <laughs> um... Yeah, they, they may just be a little bit guarded at the start, but like I said, it's nothing to do with you. That's to do with them. So this is dating. You guys are going to be dating. Yep, three of cups. There's going to be some communication coming in. The silence is going to be broken and you guys are going to be dating. Ooh la la. Uh, let's get some messages from your person. I do also, I kind of feel like this person does put you on a pedestal a little bit here. What was this person? Yeah, they had some issues that they needed to deal with. Okay, this person's thinking like marriage with you. They're thinking long term. Um, I miss you, so, well, like, I feel like a lot of you already know this person, obviously, and they, they miss you. They hate being apart from you. Oh, but I feel like spirit made them stay where they were so they could deal with the, their issues, right? Uh, what else would this person like to say to Cancer? This may be someone who comes across as very confident, but they're not actually as confident as they seem. What else would this person like to say to Cancer? This was fate. They feel like meeting you was fate. They feel like this whole thing was kind of orchestrated by spirit. Uh, they think that you are amazing. They really do. I do feel this person kind of puts you up on a pedestal a little bit here, Cancer. Let's get some of these. Oh. Okay, what is this person going to say to Cancer when they come in? What's this message going to be? I know something flipped over, but... Oh, there we go. The Three of Pentacles again. Alright, that's funny. This person may have some Capricorn in their chart. Uh, I look forward to working together on our goals. That's... It's interesting that you have doublers. You have three... You have the Three of Cups twice, and you have the Three of Pentacles twice. That's interesting. You may definitely know this person like through work, or through something like that. You have the Ace of Swords, it took me a while to understand, but now I get you. And you have the Eight of Wands underneath that. Uh, you sweep me off my feet every single time. So the Ace of Swords and the Eight of Wands, these are both communication cards. So this communication that they're coming in with, or like whatever communication is about to happen, it is with the intention of building a future with you. Like building something very solid. And I feel like in a way, they're kind of glad that it took a while for this to get off the ground because they feel ready now. They, they understand now that they had some shit from their past they hadn't dealt with. Because I honestly feel like, I feel clean. That's what's coming across. Like the energy feels fresh and clean and free and light. And I feel that it's like a huge weight has been lifted off this person. Um, yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Hold out your hand, I have something for you. So they're gonna come in. The Ace of Pentacles is like an offer, it's a date, okay? They're gonna come in and ask you out on a date. Um, 
or vice versa, you know. And the Ace of Pentacles, it's whatever happens with this person is with the intention of it turning into something very long term. Like they really want to build something solid with you. You have the Strength card here. Um, they could have some Leo in their chart. Your love teaches me patience, compassion and courage. And you have the Hanged Man underneath that. We both need time to think about what we want. I do feel like there was a delay. And this person may have been learning patience. They could also be a Pisces with the Hanged Man. Don't have to be. There needed to be... Because the, the Strength card, like... This may be a person that has a tendency to rush into things, or they maybe have done that in the past, but this time Spirit was like, no. This time you're going to deal with your issues, you're going to fix this, and you're going to take some time out so that it lasts, right? Um, yeah, you have the Empress here. I will always love you and take care of you. This person, uh, they had to get into this Empress energy, regardless of their gender before this could happen, like the energy of kind of not chasing. Because the thing is when you're chasing, you know, what you're saying is uh, uh, you're running away from me, right? <laughs> but um, once they get out of that energy into this Empress, like, you know what? Like, I'm not gonna chase, I'm gonna wait for this to come to me. I am content within myself. Um, I feel like that it's like removed a block or something like this. Because you may have felt this actually. You may be feeling your person's energy. Like you have the fool here. Um, new beginning. It's like they've released a bunch of baggage. You may be feeling this. Like you may feel less, I don't know, weighed down by the connection or something. Um, so I'm going to leave that there. Uh, cancer. I hope it was a useful reading. Thank you so much for watching. I um, uh, I hope it was, sorry, blanked there. I hope it resonated and I, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe for me if it did. And uh, as always, I wish you many blessings, love and light.